so a lot of us have a more um, improvised home setup system. In this time of working from home and isolation, all that kind of stuff. So, I would like to talk about the good and the bad of the Microsoft ergonomic keyboard and ergonomic keyboard. In some ways, this is the best keyboard I have ever used in my life. In some ways, it is so frustrating. So, firstly, it's it sits at an odd angle. It feels like my wrist is up. It feels like it's an, an, at an oblique angle. So looking at it side on, it's, yeah, feels like my wrist is sitting up. So if I turn it over, it has an odd keyboard stand. Uh, this sits closest to you. It comes off quite easily and it uh, snaps back with a quite a, Satisfying little click there with a magnetic latch. Borrowing a little bit from Apple's design resource, I think. So when I first started, started using this, I tried to remove this keyboard stand to use it. Now, I, the old Microsoft ergonomic keyboards, I think I still have one in my shed somewhere. I know it was meant to sort of sit at this more oblique angle, but it did have risers dropping my keyboard there I shouldn't do that it did have little eye risers there which made it sit more what felt like flat but once I got used to this typing angle and if you have a look at it my wrist is actually sitting flat my hand is sitting flat and oh, I just the whole typing action just feels so smooth and so nice I cannot tell you how great this feels when you're typing um just words just fall out of my fingers. It's got really nice uh, feedback on the space bars there. It just, yeah. Um, look, I did learn how to type on a membrane keyboard. I understand the aesthetics of, of, of a membrane keyboard, of a mechanical keyboard. I did learn how to type on a mechanical keyboard. I understand the aesthetics of a mechanical keyboard. I do like the feedback of a mechanical keyboard, but this... This membrane here is just, mm, yes, very, very, very nice. Uh, the number pad is completely separate. It has its own battery. Now, sometimes I think, why isn't it just sat on there? It should all be together. But other times, especially when I have the limited real estate here, I can just throw the number pad away, type away, and then I can pick it up and use it like a calculator usually with two hands, but I need one hand to hold my phone. I have found occasionally when I pick it up, I hit the calculator button here, which will bring up the calculator on screen or the backspace button here. Now, these buttons here, you can sort of hear that. It's the same with the function keys. Rather than having this membrane, it's sort of like a haptic clicky feedback. Um, it's not something that I would do. I can sort of see why it's done because you can go click. Ah, oh, there you go. My program is compiling. Um, the keys are a lot smaller. I just, I don't like it. That's just my personal preference. Definitely the escape key should be one of these membrane keys rather than these little clicky keys. But obviously I need to have my tilde. Um, if I'm commenting some I don't know uh, so these keys here I'm not even sure what the proper name is for them here I mean the they're just in the wrong spot they just they're all shunted over that way too far the arrow keys are pretty much in the right spot but coming from a Unix background no no that's a lie coming from a Linux background if I want to paste I go shift insert Oh, wait, no, that's the enter key. Control, insert, no, wait, yeah. Everything, it's just shunted, it's just a bit wrong. I've had this for about six months, and I'm sure it'll be like when I learned how to type in Dvorak. No, that's also a lie. I don't know how to type in Dvorak. I'm not gonna... 
I'm just not used to this keyboard layout. I'm sure it's something I could get used to, but at the moment that's just wrong. Um, the wrist rest. When I first got the keyboard, I thought the wrist rest felt really plasticky and nasty and cheap, and I thought it was going to degrade really quickly. But if anything, it's it's feels better now after six to eight months of use. Um, yeah, it's just the right amount of give. It feels really smooth, and I don't know if velvety is the right word, but it's, yeah, I was wrong on that. And as you can see, I keep my keyboard extremely clean. So yeah, I was absolutely wrong on my first assessment of this. This is a really, really top quality wrist rest. Um, now it does come with an ergonomic mouse. Uh, to be honest, I don't use that. I've got my trackball. Uh, I know using a trackball makes me in the minority and kind of odd, but you can take my Kensington, Kensington trackball out of my cold, dead hands. It's got two programmable buttons up here. It's got a really nice scroll wheel. And when I've got limited real estate, like I do on this desk, I've got full movement here. But this is not a review of a trackball. This is a review of this. So it does come with a ergonomic mouse, which is honestly, it's quite good. Uh, it fits my stumpy ass gorilla like hand quite nicely. Um, the scroll wheel is actually quite nice. I, I like that. Um, middle button there. Uh, it has this uh, Windows button here which will bring up the uh, Windows menu uh, as I said I don't use it very often but when I have done it I found that I've brushed that a couple of times and if you're a gamer that would make you want to throw this mouse out of the window because you know, bringing up the Windows key is a good way to crash a game um, let's run away from me again there's uh, no it's only right-handed there's no way to use this as a left-handed mouse unless you want to feel like you've got one of those hockey puck mice from the old um, Apple IMAX. It's just, yeah. I don't know how you'd make a, an ergonomic mouse like this ambidextrous, but having it only right-handed is a bit of design flaw. I don't actually know if you can get a left-handed version. I mean, I haven't seen one for sale, but... Um, yeah, where this keyboard really, really falls down is, uh, caps lock. Um, yes, there is a scroll lock and num lock on the number pad. There's no LED indicator that these lock keys are on. Um, I script a lot in SQL, so that means I've got the caps lock on, um, there's yeah there's an option for it to show up um on screen when you if the caps lock on or scroll or whatever but that only happens when you hit the button so i'm typing in sql i try and type in a password you can't do it and i don't yeah but this this thing here oh, i hate you so much so to use any of these Keys, like the home key, the search key. Um, to be honest, I use it for multimedia. So I listen to music. I've got access to streaming services. So I want to be able to pause, play and pause, volume up and volume down. To use it, you've got to slide this toggle to the left. And then you can use these. And while the toggle slide slid to the left, you cannot use any of these as function keys. You've got to slide it back to the right. Oh, it's just, it's wrong. I hate it so much. I mean, sometimes when I'm hunting around for these keys here, I'll hit that calculator button almost always. Oh, it just, oh, I hit the calculator button. And it's just, it's so wrong. If there was a way to override it with software where I could hit two key combinations and then hit that, it'd be fine. But no, there's this little toggle. Oh, it is just, it's so frustrating. I hate it, hate it, hate it so much. So with a couple of really little design improvements, this would be the best keyboard i've ever used right now it's mm, it's still great it is still great if you type a lot if you code a lot it's great just 